Give you 41 reasons why I'm the best. Give the crowd what they want to see. See who's the world's greatest, baby. Imagine 250 pounds of solid muscle and bone coming at you like a human missile. Would you get out of the way or try and take this kamikaze fullback head on? That is the question every linebacker in the NFL had to answer, whichever Sunday Lorenzo Neal came to town. He's a little boy. He's 210 pounds. I'll kill that little boy, man. Paving the way for 10 consecutive 1,000-yard rushers was an afterthought for Lo Neal. First, he was just looking to bring the pain. We can, I can go out there and impose my will on another individual. Okay, we don't get along. Guess what? I'm going to go beat you in this game. I'm going to go block you. I'm going to go do the things I need to do in order to win. Seeing the all-pro fullback coming through the A-gap with a full head of steam often meant seeing stars shortly thereafter. Never gets credit, doesn't ask for credit, just keeps springing this guy. For every championship running back, there's a championship fullback sitting in front of him. Chargers take a 10 lead on the 51 Bringing the lumber was Lorenzo Neal's everyday job. And nearly every Sunday, he got the job done. I don't do this job. Someone else going to take your job, so that was the mentality. I had 160 sometimes. Almost 200 games, I forget how many games I played in consecutive games. All of them, no matter how many hurt, concussion, beat up, you know, I still went out there and gave my all. But what happens when your body can't take the punishment of handing out football beatdowns? Well, Lorenzo, just like every footballer, was forced to move on from the game he loved. But sometimes, the transition isn't always a smooth one. Yeah, you miss it, because I still miss it. There's a huge void because you still can play it. For me at age 38, retiring in the National Football League, it wasn't like my body could still do it. So yeah, I still miss it, but the void was no longer there because of the fact I played it as hard as I could, as long as I could, played until the wheels fell off. Even though he might not be able to knock out opposing linebackers anymore, Lo still keeps sharp in both mind and body. Now you can find Lo Neal in the broadcast booth at 95.7 The Game in San Francisco. Talking sports lets Neal remain involved in the game. Just too many injuries, too many uncertainties. You ask him straight out, and, he, and he's like, hey, people aren't fearing the Giants. Long after his playing days are over. That's what you got to do. Keep that body moving. Keep moving. Can't stop. In San Francisco, Jacob Violante, Gator Sports Net.